Hi, I'm Sören from Champion Movement Moments. Today I want to talk to you about getting a second lens for your travel photography. So it might be hard deciding what your second lens for your camera should be. Some people will tell you you have to get a telephoto lens, some people will tell you you have to get a wide angle lens, some people will tell you you have to get a fast prime. All of those advices are not necessarily bad, but they might not suit your needs. So what I suggest you to do is get out with your kit lens for two or three months, take some photos and then sort your favorite photos in your editing software. I for example use Lightroom and it shows what focal length you used on which image. So when your favorite images are more to the wide end, then maybe invest in an even more wide angle lens or in a fast prime that is a wide angle. If your photos are more to the telephoto end, then maybe invest in a telephoto lens. If you find that most of your pictures are somewhere in the middle of the zoom range of your kit lens, then maybe invest in a prime that is at around the focal length that most of your favorite pictures are. Personally, I find that I needed a telephoto lens because I like to get close to the subject, so that's why I chose to get this Panasonic Lumix 45 to 150. So on my Panasonic G6, that's the full frame equivalent of a 90 to 300 mm lens. It's not very fast, it's a 4.5, I think, to 5.6. Um, so not very usable in the dark, but I'm mostly outside in the bright sunny conditions, so that's not a big problem for me. After testing this lens, I'm very impressed with it, I'm very happy. Um, it's very lightweight, I can bring it with me everywhere without any problem. It's also very sharp and the footage you can get with it is also very nice and quite steady even though the G6 is not stabilized. So I will show you some footage I took with this lens in Gladbeck, Germany. I hope you enjoy! Full film, full film.